Okay, so we're going to talk about while statements during this screencast. Um, to start off with, we're going to click on this guy up here, or we can just go to File, New Standalone Project, and we want to click on Autonomous Only. That's going to be the goal of this course is to build autonomous robots. We click OK, and this is the main setup for programming a robot. And so the function blocks, as they're called, occur over here in this left panel. And for now, we're interested in progr program flow. And this is sort of the basic functionality that we're interested in if statements, else statements, while loops, for loops. Um, and then this wait function is going to be quite useful as well when dealing with our robots. But for now, I want to talk about a while loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag here and I just pull this into my code and now it's saying what expression am I interested in? What scenario do I want to know about? And so this is dealing with boolean logic and true and false values and so if we say while one equals equals this double equal sign implies you know test for equality. While 1 is equal to 1, well if that's true, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait, I click and drag and brag, I click and drag this in between these brackets. I'm going to wait, these are in milliseconds, so let's wait 2,000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. Then after this, we're going to print a screen just to make sure that everything's working nicely. Let's print a screen. This while loop seems to be working. So this easy C programming language is a drag and drop programming language. Instead of having to type in everything, we're able to just kind of drag and drop these programming blocks and it takes care of the details for us. So now this is about as simple as a piece of code could be, but it's fairly instructive. Let's see if it works. What should happen is while one is equal to one, while this statement is true and this is always true, we're going to wait 2,000 seconds and then we're going to print this while loop seems to be working to the terminal window. But then we're going to go back up to the top of the while loop and if this statement is still true, we'll run it again. So what do we expect to happen? We expect that this statement will print again and again and again and again. So to test this out and see what happens, we'll go up here to build and download. We're going to click build and download. We will say yes all goes according to plan. This code should be uploaded. The hex file was successfully downloaded, so if we click OK, now we see the terminal window. This while loop seems to be working. Again, this while loop seems to be working. This while loop seems to be working and it will continue to work forever and ever and ever because this original statement, 1 equals 1, this statement is always true. And because of that, th we will never exit this while loop. So this is not always an ideal situation when we're program our programming our robots. Oftentimes, infinite while loops can be quite problematic, but they can be very useful at other times. So that's something that we'll explore more over the course of the term. But for now, it's a very brief introduction to an infinite while loop.